Hey beautiful people, this is Chef Nicholas back with another recipe. Today we're doing vegan mac and cheese. You'll be able to find these recipes and more at myblackdiabetemealplan.com. Let's get into it. All right guys, what we have right here, is nutritional yeast. We have a tablespoon of mustard. Right here we have some smoked paprika, also a tablespoon. A half a tablespoon of red chili flake. A tablespoon of Italian seasoning. We have a tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of black pepper. Back here, what we have is a cheddar and mozzarella cheese. They're both uh, plant-based, vegan. And we also have a uh, carton of almond milk. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with our almond milk. So in this little carton is about four cups. So we're gonna add a cup at a time. We probably won't use all four cups, but we'll add a little bit at a time. So right now I have my oven, my stove onto a little over medium. And right there is about a cup and a half. All I wanna do is let that come up to temperature. So I'm gonna just turn it up to a medium high for now. At this moment, I'm just gonna put in all my ingredients, all right? So we got the onion and garlic powder. We got the black pepper here, the smoked paprika, chili flakes, and the Italian seasoning. And we just want to mix that in and get that going. So you want to mix that until it no longer feels grainy and let that milk come to temperature. Now, I know you guys probably thinking vegan mac and cheese, this man's crazy. Nah, trust me, this, this is a contender for real. Definitely healthier, you know, not using all that extra cream, no butter, nothing like that. letting the seasoning do its job. Just keep on mixing it. All right. That's starting to come to temperature. So you want to go ahead and add a little bit more milk. That looks good there. Now at this point, you go ahead and add in your nutritional yeast. Now your nutritional yeast is what's gonna give you kind of that uh, that thick, cheesy flavor. Almost like if you were to use like a, uh, a processed cheese, like we normally do with a uh, traditional Southern macaroni and cheese. And you are gonna use a whole cup of that. It's also gonna get it thick. So you just want to mix until everything is combined. As you see, it's starting to boil. Starting to get some small bubbles in there. So we're going to add a little bit of our cheese in at a time. And then we're going to turn our pot down a little under medium. I'm gonna stir that bad boy in. See, it's already getting thick, you see? Now I'm telling you, with this macaroni and cheese, you can take it to Thanksgiving. And nobody's ever gonna know, especially after we bake it. So 
Yeah, nice and thick. At this point, you go ahead and add in the mustard. Just a tablespoon of that. Push that in, okay? Now at the same time, you wanna make sure you got your, your noodles boiling. Today we're using a red lentil noodle, low on the carbs, high on the protein. Go ahead and add a little bit more milk. And like I said, we weren't gonna use all that milk, but you just wanna make sure you had enough just in case. Just let that boy simmer. All right, beautiful people. So all we're gonna do is just add the rest of our cheeses in. Get that sprinkled in there. And we just add the pasta in there and just mix it well. And one thing I'm also going to add in there, which we do in traditional macaroni sometimes, we add a little nutmeg, all right? So just about a little less than a tablespoon. And that's going to bring some nuttiness to it. I'm just going to get everything mixed together. We're going to put it in our pan. Bake it. Let it bake for probably about 25 minutes and then we'll be ready to taste. This, that creamy vegan macaroni and cheese here. All right. Let's go ahead and plate it up. Got that, that rainbow red lentil pasta in here. That looks delicious. Look at that. All right, people, as always, thank you for joining me today. That macaroni and cheese is delicious. Make sure you try the recipe. You'll be able to find these recipes more at myblackdiabetesmealplan.com. Peace.